Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we're going to be working on a bit of an experimental dish. Uh, but before we get to cooking, we have to head out to the woods and get ourselves some chickens. Oh, looks like just the one in here. Well, there we go. I'm not going hungry. See how many more we can get today. All right, you guys just stay in here. I'll be right back. I gotta go get that chicken. All right, buddies. Uh, where's my boat? Oops, missed them. What the hell is going on? Sorry there, Rocky boy. I went past them, but I might be able to find them here yet. All right, I'll be right back. You guys will be good, okay? Alright, couple more chickens here. See that last one I shot at and missed? I uh, set up a little target, shot it, 22, a little low to the right. So I adjusted the scope. Oh, that guy's gone. There's two more in there though. Man, are they ever skittish right now for some reason. There we go. We're back to getting chickens now, boy. I knew there was something wrong when I kept missing them. Oh, relax there, friend. All right. Had to be done. I gotta eat too. Now, there was one more that didn't go too far. The other one, he went way over there, but I don't see this other guy here. Eat quick. We'll just leave him be. Yep. Well, we got one anyways. Those other two, they need to fly about go on about the day repopulate you know all that good stuff uh, 
As soon as I missed that last one though, I knew something was up. I will miss a time or two, but not when it's a chip shot like that. There we go. One more for the pot. Oh, I gotta pay attention. This guy's reached on the road. Got him. All right, all right, we get it, we get it. You're shot in the head. Gee, purse. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, today has been just a beautiful day. Cutting firewood with the dogs, shooting chickens. Oh, I tell you, man. Don't get much better than this. Well, you guys, we got back home here from another just an amazing day out in the bush. Uh, for me, it was kind of like a little trip down memory lane. I uh, took the dogs out, went down into Mile 98 country, uh, shot a chicken on the way in to the firewood spot. Uh, got a nice little truckload of wood. Shot a couple more chickens uh, before coming out. Had a miss up there for a little bit. The gun was off, so I had to recite the gun there for a little bit. Kind of, it happens from time to time. Beating around in the truck and dog stepping on it and whatever all else. But we made her home, We're getting my chickens all cleaned up here. And then uh, we'll be back into the house and uh, we'll start cooking on these. Uh, this one here is gonna be a experimental dish. Uh, I've had duck l'orange before, and so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna try my luck at uh, rough grouse l'orange. Uh, I was gonna try to pluck uh, these birds and then cook it whole. I kind of plucked the first one, but it just, I'm used to doing it my way, you know, it's, I don't know, it just made a big mess. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the way it was turning out. So I kind of just abandoned the ship, clean them this way. And then what we'll do, once we get all these feathers off, is I'll just cook the whole breast uh, in the pan there, instead of the whole chicken. Not really missing out on much. Uh, the wings really you're not gonna get nothing out of the wings and then the legs you get kind of two bites maybe off each leg so uh, yeah we're, we're definitely not gonna be missing a whole lot then this way too uh, we just kind of get the cleaning done and over with and it doesn't make a great big huge mess like bucking it was doing but anyways guys I got my chickens pretty well cleaned up I just gotta nip the uh, the wings off, pull the hearts out for the dogs, and then uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Well, good morning, everyone. Made her back into the kitchen here. Uh, last night, after I cleaned up our chickens, I put them into a bowl of water, put them into the fridge overnight, and then this morning, took all the water out, uh, dried them off, cleaned up all the any extra feathers and stuff that might have been kind of stuck on them and now this morning we're going to be working on just a very simple marinade uh we got one white onion uh just kind of roughly chopped up and six cloves of garlic that are just kind of smashed so we'll take those put them in there and then over here we have some smoked paprika and we're not going to do much about a dash or so on each one then we have some curry and same thing with the curry we're not going to overdo the curry 
just kind of do two or three dashes kind of a thing there we go something like that and then we have time we'll put a lot of time in this rosemary have oregano have some salt and we have some black pepper And for a little extra acidity, we're going to be using just a little bit of lemon juice. That'll just help break down the meat a bit. And then we have a bunch of orange juice. And this is our basically our base. So we'll put in enough where it'll roughly cover up these chickens. There we go. So that's basically... One and a half liters of orange juice. What I'll do is I'm going to turn these so they're all kind of facing up. That way the breasts are fully submerged. And now with that, we're going to take saran wrap. We're going to cover this up and we're going to refrigerate it for about six hours or so. And then uh, after about six hours roughly, I'll pull it out. We'll rinse her off a little bit. Uh, and then we'll get to baking it and uh, yeah, it's just an experimental kind of a thing I've never made uh, kind of duck lorange or chicken lorange or anything like that, but uh, Whatever we'll give her a go see how it turns out. So uh, yeah, see you guys here in roughly six hours Well guys I kind of lied to you a little bit. I didn't let this sit for six hours or so I ended up letting it go overnight uh but anyways here's our chicken and now we're gonna be taking it and transfer it over into our roast pan and uh we'll get to baking this here all right so we got all three chicken breasts in there now we're gonna take a bunch of this all these onions and herbs Make sure we get this all in there. I don't really know how much we're going to put in. I guess one thing we could do is just kind of dump it in there. Make things go by a little quicker. Maybe I'll give her about that much. I don't know how much is in there. Yeah, it's roughly... See? Yeah, roughly half an inch of our orange juice mixture in there and then uh, I'm not gonna do any more spices or anything like that whatever's in there is in there uh, oven is preheated to 325 degrees so we're gonna take our lid put it on our little roast pan uh, we're gonna throw it in there and roast it for about 45 minutes uh, but I think every well, every 15 minutes, we'll pull this out and we'll baste it real good. And then that way it just kind of keeps everything nice and moist. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Alrighty, so it's been uh, 30 minutes here now. So we're going to pull the lid off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss these back in there, all uncovered. Cook them for another 15 minutes or so. And then in the meantime, I'm going to start uh, on some mashed potatoes and some broccolini. Get them all cooked up. And then we'll see you guys back here in 15 minutes. And hopefully this chicken's all done. Has a nice little crust on it. And we'll get to eating here soon. Alrighty, so we had the lid off for 15 minutes. I'm going to pull her out here now. It's actually looking pretty good. There she is in all her glory. 
Uh, now I'm going to take our spoon, spoon some of the sauce on there, throw the lid on, and I'm going to let it rest for oh, probably 10 minutes or so. Then in the meantime, we can finish up uh, our broccolini, mashed potatoes, got a little bit of gravy on the go, and uh, yeah guys, we're going to be eating here real soon. So anyways, spoon some of this on there. Or one thing you could do too, I guess, is you could just flop them around, like flop them on top of each other, upside down, whatever there, so they're completely submerged in the juice. But uh, I think what we're going to do, just spoon it on like that, take our lid, put our lid on, our gravy's almost done, mashed potatoes are done, broccolini is done, so... Uh, yeah, basically you just kind of let it sit and rest for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll get it all dished up here real soon. Alrighty, so I pulled everything out. Got everything dished up here. We have our broccolini, mashed potatoes, gravy, our gross larange with a little bit of orange zest on there. And, of course, we got our guinea pig Shelby here. She can be trying the first bite. Maybe I don't trust my own cooking or what, but... <laughs> She does. <laughs> All right, this smells awesome. It's definitely different, but it's really good. Definitely worth trying again. Right on. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. A Rennex version of Duck Lorange using grouse. Not uh, exactly too sure what I was doing tonight, but we made her happen anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button uh leave us a comment or two let us know if you try this out and how you liked it or what you did different uh anyways yeah that's all for this one make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one there he goes That should not have been that much work.